time is it? 5.33 in the morning. We're going out to the car and look at this. What up, Mr. Lizard? He's like, this is how I die. All right, well, let's let him do his wall thing. Let's continue. <laughs> I just like listening to it. <laughs> oh my god, look at the sun. Look at it. It's it's literally a pink glowing orb. I think we're in Japan or something. That is gorgeous. Hey, you know what? Night shifts has its perks. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. It's, actually, it's behind all the trees. I know. Move it, trees. I'm vlogging here. Wow, it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Why don't you turn the light on over there? Well, oh. so I was cooking food because you got off early, first of all. Is it too yeah. bright? Can you even see me? Yeah, I'm just. Are you messing with I'm me? I'm messing with it. Blake, what time did you get off work today? Um, five. Five? Which is pretty early, right? Mm hmm. Blake got off early, which is fantastic, which means we have like a couple extra hours to do like whatever we want to do in Italy, right? Mm -hmm. So we were like, let's go to Terramina. And you've heard good things? Yeah, people go there all the time. Yep. So we were like, all right, sounds good. First, let's go back to the Airbnb so I can drop off some of my stuff. Oh, and you know what's a good idea? We can maybe make some food ahead of time so that way when we get back to the Airbnb, we can just really quickly heat something up. We don't have to worry about it. It's all ready to go. Well, I start cooking this pasta and then the power goes out. Mm -hmm. We looked at the circuit breakers and everything's fine. I messaged the Airbnb lady, but for now we're sitting in the dark eating Cap'n Crunch because it's the only thing we can eat right now because we don't have any power to cook food. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well. So uh, yeah, I'll, we'll keep you updated, I guess, with what 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 happened, I guess. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. All right, all right, Italian tolls. What do we do here, guys? What do we do? We didn't know that we had to pay for tolls here, but push the button, take the ticket. Push the red button, and ticket. All right, and I will look up this, I guess. Google Translate? <laughs> yep. All right, we're coming into Terramina. We're gonna try to pay this toll. Hopefully we don't need exact change because I don't have exact change. I have like 50 cents. Really? Yeah. Wait, let's see what he does. He's sticking his ticket in. Yeah. We might be able to pay with card. Yeah, there's like a card reader. No, they're putting a, a okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. There's Ooh. somebody in that one over there, but not here. That's okay. That's okay, honestly, we're fine. So we're in the city of Terramina today, which is just north of Catania. Apparently it's a really beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. I brought the drone. I think it might be fun to fly if we can find a spot. So put the ticket in. Oh look, there's you can put the English. They don't accept 500 euros. Oh, interesting. Oh darn. Woohoo, we've got change now. Nice parking job. Yeah, it blends in. It blends in. Look at this view, you guys. This is Terramina. I mean, there's like trees in front of us, but it almost reminds me of home. Does it? Yeah. It reminds me of California like a lot. Like this straight up looks like, um, it reminds me a lot of Big Sur. It's very twisty, these roads. And we're right on the cliffy water, which is amazing. Cliffy bits. The, the cliffy bits. So we're gonna um, walk down a little bit and just kind of explore a tiny bit. I have the drone. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fly it, but we're gonna see if I can find like an open spot and see if I can get away with it. Thank you. 
worked? Perfect. I'll message her back and say that it worked. I heard everything turn on. So, since we have power, I finally got to finish making the food that I was making. This was the meal I made. Yum. It's kind of hard to tell. It's gnocchi with some mi mixed vegetables and arabiata sauce. And I threw in some salad greens in it too. So good. This is like the first time I'm having like actual vegetables, which for a few days and uh, it was desperately needed. Anyway, it's time for nap because Blake has to work tonight. So we're gonna nap in the middle of the day as per usual. Blake, are you excited to nap? Yes. Yes, we'll see you guys in the morning to us. Ah, <sighs> you feel rested? Yeah. I kind of slept like crap that time. I woke up at like five because I thought I heard somebody trying to get in. And I was like, ugh, what's happening? And it took me forever to fall back asleep. It is time to begin the day for us. And it's like, what, seven o'clock at night? We're walking to the car, which is still there on the corner. So that's always a nice thing to see. And I made pasta. Yay! One of the easiest ways to save a lot of money when you travel is to like make your own food. That's one of the reasons why Airbnbs tend to like even out in price. Airbnbs are pretty affordable for the most part, depending on where you look and stuff. But um, they have a full kitchen that you can use. You can cook your own food and it's a great way to save money. I'm gonna get some editing done. Somebody gotta go to work. Yep. But first, I think it would be great if I showed you guys what driving in Italy is like. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha yeah. ha. There are no rules in Italy. Okay, no, 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 that's Turn a lie. right. In Italy, there are driving laws. I don't know what they are because nobody listens. Everybody kind of just does their own thing, which is very interesting to see. These cars all look exactly the same. There are ginormous roundabouts here, but they don't really have rules. You kind of just get in them and try not to get hit. Hopefully somebody nice will let us in, but you know what? It won't happen, so you just gotta, you just gotta do it. I love these little fruit stands. <laughs> They're so cool. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you got a fancy Keurig in your room. I know. Must be nice. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> How did you like Terramina? Terramina was awesome. I like to spend some more time there, but. Hey, work and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to. We'll see. But... We'll figure it out. It was super beautiful though. I definitely want to like fly the drone more around there. We had some issues with the drone. It was like conking out like halfway through flying. It, it kept being, I don't know, it was really glitchy. For those of you who have drones, do you deal with that? Because I definitely do pretty much, I would say like probably 75% of the time we fly, there's some kind of weird issue and like I have to land it and then try to take it off again and like see if it works better. So that's something that they might not tell you about DJI is sometimes they're just really annoying to deal with. So what's a good question? of the day. What's your your favorite food to eat while you're on vacation? Ooh, that's a good one. Favorite food to eat. I know you came up with it. Let us know in the comments down below what's your favorite food to eat while you're on vacation. I am stuffing my face since we've been here. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Italy, so. I mean, it would be a waste otherwise, right? Oh, God. Don't fall. Definitely gonna have to work on that when we get home. But uh, for now, not worrying about well, it. Eating eat? all the food. What? what are you going to eat at your next vacation? In the UK? Yeah. Probably a lot of... Fish and chips, eh? <laughs> Wait, that's Canada. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know. Probably, probably a lot of fish and chips, mushy peas, and... <sighs> mushy peas, guys. Like shepherd's pie and uh, stuff like that. I thought shepherd's pie was invented at Shepherd Air Force Base. Wow. I never had it before, and that's the first place I saw it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Story time with Blake. Well, how was your experience with your first shepherd's pie at Shepherd Air Force Base? I was like, okay. <laughs> Shepherd was the first time I had fried okra. And it was delicious. It was amazing, even from the deep act, it was good. When I dropped off the tomato plant for Alicia to babysit, that came up in conversation, like I was just talking to her. Right, it's a southern thing. Yeah, well, like that you had never had fried okra until you went to like tech school, and it was yeah. like life changing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite food to eat while you're on vacation is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Oh, bye. 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 Perfect. I'll message her back and say that it worked. I heard everything turn on. I wonder what, why that was. I don't know, but I need to get this mirror in good position. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm not including that. <laughs>